Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do some technical analysis with some news because we have huge news for Aaron and I want to cover it. You probably seen it already on Twitter. Dr. Aaron predicted it like a couple of months ago, I think in May, and it seems that it's coming true. So stay with me. Before we start the usual, please use a VPN because it's safer if you want to get in contact with me, Twitter or Discord, everything is in the description. You would do me a huge favor if you subscribe and I see that some of you already subscribed and you are subscribing as the videos come along and I'm very happy about it. This is how you help me trigger the YouTube algorithm. This is how my videos will reach more and more people. So thank you for helping. We are at the Bitcoin chart and as you can see and probably seen on many other altcoins as well, yesterday we had a dip, we came back below the 200 day moving average which happened twice in the last uh, 6 or 7 days. I don't think that this is anything to be worried about right now. As I said, as I said yesterday and tweeted a couple of times, I have these lines here, the, the yellow and the blue, these are usually the beginning or middle of the month and the end of the month and between the middle and the end of the month usually the price drops or goes sideways and this is valid for bitcoin i think for i'm i'm keeping uh, these statistics since january and more or less more or less uh, it is working out you can count on it so I believe this is what is happening. I believe that this is a buyer exhaustion. Uh, people just bought and now they are waiting. Nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, we can see that on on-chain data that uh, Bitcoin is going out from the exchanges. People are not selling, they are accumulating. Before I show you that, I just wanted to make this small uh, trading analysis for me. My opinion is that Bitcoin's very important support lines are these two obviously we don't want to revisit this because that would probably mean a bear market however i told you that i'm expecting bitcoin to drop to 25k i do think that this moment in this moment since we went back and broke the 50 and the 200 day moving average we shouldn't break the 30 we shouldn't go down to the 25 20ks because that would mean a bear market and uh, that would create a very big sell-off or that would mean that a lot of people will lose their faith in Bitcoin and that we are in a bull market. Therefore, I hope that Bitcoin will hold uh, these support lines. First this and if not this, then maybe this one. Uh, I, I really don't want to go back here, but even if you go back here, back to the 30s, I still don't think that every, everything is lost. As I said, I do expect things to start moving in September or October. Therefore, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with these prices. What I do now, I will wait until the 25th, like let's say uh, 10 days and I expect things to move again a bit. Now, uh, just to show you very fast the accumulation or the Bitcoin movement from on-chain data. This is Glasnode I showed you many times and as you can see in the last two days or yesterday and the day before yesterday in a total 220 or 21,000 Bitcoin went out from the exchanges as you can see this red. So this is obviously a good sign. Aaron uh, has some very big news. Uh, as you can see yesterday we had this bounce and then we dipped back to the 129 and now it's back again at the 148 i think it shows uh, very impressively or very uh, nicely that aaron really wants to go for that all-time high and as soon as it's not pressured by the market by bitcoin uh, it will try to climb it will try to go up and obviously this is a very good sign also uh, the news are helping and as you can see and what i mentioned before the worldwide untold mega festival will partner with aaron and yes you will be able to pay with aaron at the festival for drinks and anything else but it's not just that because people saw it like i don't want to spend my aaron on drinks at untold yes you don't have to and you shouldn't but if you want to have the Aaron team on, I don't know, the money allocated for your festival time, you could buy Aaron on that money and pay with Aaron because you will just create a circulation. You will uh, 
take off uh, more and more errand from the exchanges and that will benefit your holdings because the price will have a movement because the coins will start to move uh, more and more people uh, will buy and sell and uh, yeah you just generate uh, also a hype and also circulation for around now what i wanted to highlight here since everybody is uh, focusing on paying with Aaron and I don't want to spend my holdings which I just said that you don't have to and you shouldn't uh, is that a lot of NFTs will be created on that festival these NFTs will be minted on Aaron network and that will just bring uh, Aaron to more people's attention because right now uh, it's not only about the untold festival it's about every single DJs every single musicians every single organizers fan base uh, who will just find out that you can buy nfts minted on aaron network uh, about your favorite dj or your favorite showman or anybody else who is joining untold festival so my take here is that yes it's very very good that um, you can pay with Aaron and maybe some some circulation or some extra circulation will be generated will not cash it out and maybe they will become holders for me the bigger or the more interesting or the more important thing is that this will be a huge marketing for Aaron network because of the nfts because of the hype hype of the nfts because every single dj's fan crowd or fan base will find out about Aaron and they will be able to buy nfts from the Aaron network for the last news today dogecoin is reborn so i don't know what this means for dogecoin i want you to remember that meme coins usually are uh, let's say fan base focused therefore Yes, uh, they ha it has a very big uh, market capital, but I am just afraid that some for, uh, after some time people will get bored of it. And after each hype, after each uh, parody or after each joke, people will always turn back to the important and uh, serious projects. Now that doesn't mean that you can't make any gain on it. I just want to encourage you to look into projects and uh, yeah invest on those because when dogecoin maybe start to pump again more people lost their money than those who gained or took profits this is all i wanted to talk about today thank you very much for watching don't forget to smash that like button if you like the content obviously and let me know in the comments what you think about this Aaron and untold uh, partnership what you expect from it and what do you think how it will affect the price if it will at all see you tomorrow <laughs>